Hello Virgo, welcome to We Are Magic. This is Crystal Lee and I am here to bring you a tarot and oracle card and ancestor reading. I don't know what this lint stuff's on here. Um, we are going to be using the Angels and Ancestors oracle cards, the Starseed oracle cards, and the Gilded Tarot with Easy Tarot. They're all available on Amazon.com, okay? So right now we're going to start with tarot, um, calling on Virgo's highest self. Virgo, our little perfectionists, our little, uh, <laughs> our little go-getters, our born OCD people that we wish we could be like, but we're not like you guys. I would love to have y'all. I just need it for one day. I, I need Virgo energy for just one freaking day to declutter my home. I don't have a lot of clutter, but <clears throat> you know how Virgo, well, you're Virgos. You know how clutter gets to you, or let's say if you can't find something, and my first instinct is just to throw everything away. If I can't find something, you know, just throw all the shit out of the house, how I feel about it. All right, so I'm calling on Virgo's highest self. What messages do you have for Virgo right now? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just... The energies right now, as y'all know, is crazy. With all the Mercury retrograding and the Pluto retrograding and the planets aligning and the eclipses. My goodness, guys. Right when you think we've arrived, we have not even come close. My oldest son told me today his... He said his goal is to reach the end of the rabbit hole. And I was like, buddy, good luck with that. He said, I'm going to do it. I said, okay, well, when you get to the bottom, you know, holler at me. Let me know what's going on. All right, Virgo, I'm being guided to cut. So, well, oh, Virgo, look what popped out. Death. Now, this could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. My card. Um... We don't know yet, so let's um, pick up the energy and see what your higher self is needing for you to do. All right, thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Any more messages? Any more pop-outs we got for Virgo? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. What other messages do you have for Virgo? All right. Whew, I'm feeling it already, good Lord. What messages do you have for Virgo Spirit? We have Ace of Pentacles. Okay, you got new ideas. You got new inspiration when it comes to your financial environment. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords. We have Worry. We have... Um, you're just up at night. You're worrying how things are going to go. Maybe this is job related. Don't know yet. Let's go into it. Five of Swords. Okay, we got a little victory going on. There's some people back in the background crying, Virgo. So, see what that's about. And the Emperor came. <laughs> okay, Virgo. All right. Higher self. It's got some messages for you here. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. All right, just give me a minute. You got to pick up on your energy. Okay, Virgo, um, what I'm getting is with the death card, something must die in order for you to rebirth this. Okay, let me fix my camera phone here. So um, what's going off this card is you've got um, some new ideas coming to fruition with this ace of pentacles and has something to do with maybe your job um or entrepreneurial idea and your higher self is killing something inside of you or around your area maybe this is a death to the job you have now maybe this is a death to maybe an idea that you had that may not work out for your best or your highest good and 
your higher self wants you to know that they see that you're worrying. They see that you're um, stressed out, Virgo. Um, not sure exactly what's going on with you guys. There has been some type of battle and um, it seems you're the victor. You know, you've broken some hearts along the way, Virgo. You've hurt some people, but you know what? Lessons, everything is a lesson, okay? Because you have the Emperor card here that came out. And the Emperor is the Divine Masculine. The Emperor represents the Father figure. It's a fire sign. It also represents Aries. So you've had an Aries card pop out on you. And you've also had a, here we go, Scorpio card pop out on you. Um, you've come into some money. Let me put it in the right order. You had the Scorpio card, so whether you're dealing with a Scorpio or whatever, that where however that resonates with you, you know, that is it is what it is. You have um, new opportunities, new growth coming into your life. Um, you were stricken with worry, anxiety, um, but you won the battle with that, with the five of swords, may have hurt some people, but you know, Virgo. You got shit to do. We don't got time to worry about emotions because you all, you came out as the emperor, but also this is an Aries energy. So whether you're dealing with an Aries or not, let's say if this is a relationship reading. Um, let's see here. If this is a relationship reading. Either way, your last card came out as Emperor, and there's nothing wrong with that. The Emperor is a good card. I love the Emperor card. Let's get some more guidance, shall we? What ancestors or angels or oracles are supporting the Virgo right now? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for these messages. Virgo, I see you've had a hard life. But we're not going to be victims, are we, Virgo? Hell no, we're not going to be a victim. As like I said, all those hard life lessons just taught you to be stronger, to get you ready for the life that you have now, to get you set up and prepared for what you need to do. Every heartache, every pain, every battle is a lesson learned. You learn from it. You don't dwell on it. You don't, you don't want to be here. This is where you definitely don't want to be. You want to be here. So you could end up right here. In order to get to this, you got to kill something off. And whether you decide to kill off an old habit, a job, um, whatever opportunity that spirit has for you has something great coming to you. Okay, guys. So let me put this back up here. Sorry. I'm just going to keep interrupting because when spirit puts something in my head, I'm going to definitely let y'all know. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay. What angels, ancestors, oracles, spirit guides, who's working with Virgo right now? Let's see what's really, 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 really going on, Virgo. Come on, spirit. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for guiding us and protecting us, keeping us on our path. Let me get these tarot cards out of the way. We may keep these. We may have to wear, we may have to use these again, okay? So we're gonna put these off to the side here, okay? Get these books out of the way. All right, spirit. What ancestor, angel, or oracle is, you have to trade a exchange energy to create abundance. See, exchange energy, let go of something to create abundance, but you gotta let this stuff go right here. You gotta let go of that worry. Okay, because regardless, y'all win. Okay? All right? You win. All right. So let me read about the trader. It's cutie pie. This represents universal energy, by the way. So I'm going to put trader right there. Hope you can see it. Let's see here. You have trader. <clears throat> Trader. 
make connections and exchange information, talents, or support Virgo. The trader brings the lesson and energy of exchange. When he appears, he can represent an opportunity to exchange talents, whatever they may be, in order to expand or be about the exchange of energies that come from the universe or both. For example, if you are a creative person or consider yourself creative, when you share your talents, you are giving them. And when you do so, the universe will give you more in order for you to share more. It's all beautiful cycle. Okay. The trader also reminds you to be open and honest and act with integrity. <laughs> in your exchanges, <laughs> you'll be hurting people along the process. Okay. Like I said, I know you're a Virgo and you got shit to do, but there's always that karmic balance. There's always light and dark and yin and yang. And I mean, it's, it's always universal balance. Universal law is infinite. I mean, you can't stop that guys <clears throat> because doing something to get, to get something will only lead to challenges. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect. See, I just said that. And it's always looking to return to a natural state of balance. So if you are lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, You are being invited to share your time, your gifts and your understanding with others. If you're frustrated because something isn't unfolding in your life, Virgo, instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself what you can give. The exchange of energy doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. It can also be about supporting in order to feel supported. If you've been holding back with your offerings, now is the time to change that. Allow yourself to be open, honest, and vulnerable. This can prepare you to open up to even greater opportunities in the coming days, weeks, and months. I mean, you come out like this, so something good's coming to you guys. Just, you know, operate in the universal law. You should be fine. Now guys, let's see what star seed oracles are supporting you. I love this deck. I really love this deck. Sorry. All right. What star seed first, first and foremost, thank you spirit for the messages. Virgo is listening. They get it. They are a perfectionist bunch. They are very intelligent. They know what's going on. They are very enlightened, woke people. Okay, thank you, Spirit. <laughs> thank you so much for these messages. Something tried to pop out, but it didn't, so we're gonna keep it moving, okay? If it does it again, it was meant to happen. These are kind of sticky to do to reader's hand. The reader's hand is just where you let it, you just let it go, okay? <laughs> But these kind of stick, so when they do pop out, it's very, very, very special. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. I'm being guided to pull another one. So we'll put your star family. I'll put them right here. I just don't want to stay up. You also got the cosmic heart, devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with the Stoll family. Let's see what Stoll family has for you. Okay. I love it. Oh, that's crazy. My book went straight to it. All right, here we go. <laughs> You're part of a team of souls call in support. So I'm going to lift this up for you so you can see it better. Okay. And that beautiful card. Oh my God. You got the universe. See all these little people flying out through here. These are your peeps. These are your people, Virgo. At some stage, we were each part of a soul cluster, a gathering of souls who broke away from one another to experience themselves individually. 
Those who are part of your soul cluster are part of your star family. Your star family are those souls who are cut from a similar cosmic cloth. You, ha you haven't just experienced lifetimes together. Your souls were once actually one. It's very common for star family members to incarnate at similar times, to work with anchoring a similar frequency of light, and to cross paths with each other. You know that someone is part of your star family when you feel like you know and remember them from the moment you meet. They feel instantly familiar and comfortable. Time both passes quickly and stretches when you're with them. You feel more yourself with them than anyone else. It can sometimes feel like looking in the mirror because in a way you are. Often you'll go out of your way to help those in your star family, instinctively knowing it's part of your path. When a star family member dies, you feel it very deeply, regardless of how long you knew them. A certain soul mourning or soul breaking occurs. Thinking about the people in your life, who do you feel is part of your star family? If this card comes up in a spread, it's likely you've met someone who is part of your star family or you're about to, okay? What do you think is from the same, I'm sorry, who do you think is from the same star family as you and how can you call upon them for support? That was beautiful, Virgo. And now we're going to do the cosmic heart, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, loves. I should have brought my water. Thirsty. Devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. When you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your attention within, deep within, to the intelligence of your own heart to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you felt a bit off kilter lately, sensing that potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what makes you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth and at the very center of your heart to get back to the essence of what you're about, to devote your life to what you care most about, to turn your gaze deep, deep, deep. There are seasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now you're being called to plant your soul seeds and sing to them with deep devotion to feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul, to lose yourself in the potency of what is the most, what is that most expands your heart, to live your life according to what makes you come alive, rather than whatever, what everyone else thinks, to make your life one big moving prayer. Mm, mm, mm. How can you make your life a moving prayer, Virgo? You are the living altar. You are the crystal. You are the star seed. You are the one that the universe absolutely cherishes and loves so, 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 so much. You are so extremely blessed. And I know you've been through a lot. I know you've had a hard life. I know it started off rough, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the universe has huge plans for you and just watch how you get to your promised land. Just watch how you get to your destination because you don't want to rake up any karmic debt. You don't want to hurt people along your path. You want to be mindful and you want to do it the right way. Okay. All right, Virgo, that's all I have. Um, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comments down below and subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll know when I post videos. It's not always me about tarot. I have other gems I need to drop because we are here to wake up the collective and it's, it's a journey. This is one big school and we've got to pass it so we can move to the next level. I love you guys. Take care. Have a good week.